Now we need to get our rewind mechanism to work with the music spools. We want to be able to engage this music spool to rewind it. These plastic spools, in particular this one that came from Melvin Wright, they have a hex socket on the end, which is 5 millimeter. And you can buy a 5 millimeter ball end hex wrench. And that ball end makes it real easy to go in and out of that socket. You can use a straight end, but it has to be aligned a lot more precisely to go in and out of there. The ball end just makes life easy. So when that is in the pressure box and you want to use this rewind mechanism, how do you use a hex wrench and have a round shaft in here so it will run smooth when we turn our rewind handle? This is my solution for doing that. You can buy these ball end wrenches individually in different places. No sense breaking up a good set of wrenches. This particular wrench is six inches long. We need a straight section that's three and three sixteenths. I made my offset on the rewind bracket so I have an inch and a quarter clearance in here. I'm going to use bushings for quarter inch. If you can get these sharp ones, it's handy. That's a quarter inch bushing. The outside diameter is three eighths and it's a half inch long. I drill this on the drill press straight through with a 3 8 inch brad point bit. I install one bushing in here. It's just the right length. And I install one up here. When I get done, I grind off the excess. You need a piece of quarter inch K&S tubing. This hex wrench will just go inside of that. Take a section of this tubing, chuck it up in a drill and polish it with emery cloth so it runs very smoothly inside that quarter inch bushing. With the small pulley I made and this inch and a quarter offset, I have five eighths of an inch free play in there. This part right here is about five eighths of an inch. The socket on the music roll is a half inch deep. Well, that will come back to about here when it disengages from the music roll, then I have another eighth of an inch clearance. Take your brass tubing, before you cut it to length, run it through those bushings, put a little brasso on there, and lap that in so that that will turn very freely, and it will slide back and forth without any type of resistance. My pulley is made out of oak, I drilled and tapped that for 1024 set screw. That set screw is lined up with one of these flats. When you get that in the correct position, you tighten that set screw and it will collapse or push that brass tube down onto that flat and that's on there to stay. That's not going anywhere. And again, this is a, a 1024 thread in this wood is a fairly strong thread, but you only want to tighten it enough to stay in position. You don't want to strip the threads out of your wood, so you got to be careful. You need to align the rewind mechanism so when you push on that hex, it goes into the music spool. And then when it comes out to about here, it disengages and I still have about an eighth of an inch. You can see about where the end of that music spool is and about where my hex wrench reaches to. About like that. And when I get this assembled I may very well find that this full half inch throw is not necessary. I may shorten that up to three eighths. But for now I'm taking advantage of the full depth of the socket on that music spool. Cut this hex off with a grinder, smooth the edges. Your dimensions may end up being a little bit different than mine. 